look up. What you can't see might just be the most powerful weapon in the sky. It doesn't make the news often, you won't see it at an air show, but for the people who need to know, this machine changes everything. It's not a fighter jet, it's not a satellite, it's something entirely new, and it's rewriting the rules of modern security. Welcome to Winds of Thought. Today, we're talking about a real piece of technology, not science fiction. We're breaking down a specific type of unmanned aerial vehicle, a drone, that is so advanced it feels like it's from the future. This is about Israel's latest strategic UAV. Forget what you think you know about drones. This isn't a small quadcopter. This is a massive, silent, and incredibly smart machine built for one purpose – to see everything, and if needed, to act on it. So what makes this one so different? Why are military experts around the world paying such close attention? It all comes down to a combination of features that until now never existed in a single machine. We're talking about a drone that can stay in the air for more than a full day without landing. A drone that is incredibly difficult to detect on radar. A drone that can not only watch a single person from miles away, but also understand what it's seeing. This is the story of how one machine brings all of that together. Let's start with the most basic question. What does it look like? Its design is the first clue that this is different. Imagine an aircraft with long, slender wings and a smooth, sleek body. There are no sharp edges or bulky parts sticking out. Why? Because its shape is its first layer of defense. This specific design isn't just for looks. It's engineered to be invisible to radar. When a radar signal hits a normal plane, it bounces back, creating a clear blip on a screen. But when a signal hits this drone, it scatters. It doesn't give a clear, strong signal back. To the enemy on the ground, it might look like a small bird, or static, or nothing at all. It's a ghost. But building a plane to be invisible is hard. You still need it to be strong. It has to fly through bad weather. It has to carry weight. So how do you make something both strong and hard to detect? The answer is in the materials. This drone is built using special composite materials. Think of these as advanced, super strong plastics and carbon fibers. They are incredibly light, which helps with fuel, but they are also incredibly tough. This lightweight strength means the drone can carry all the heavy gear it needs inside its body without sacrificing its stealthy shape. So the design isn't just about hiding, it's about being able to fly deep into dangerous areas where other planes would be spotted and shot down, and doing its job without anyone knowing it's there. Now, let's talk about its amazing feature, endurance. How long can it fly? Most military drones can stay in the air for maybe 10 or 12 hours. That's a long time. But this drone? It can fly for over 24 hours straight, a full day and night. Think about that. It can take off in the morning, and it will still be circling in the same area the next morning. This is a game changer. In the past, if you wanted to watch a place constantly, you needed a team of drones taking turns. You'd have gaps. You'd have moments when no one was watching. With this, the watch never stops. It's like having a sentry in the sky that never gets tired, never blinks, and never needs a coffee break. This incredible staying power comes from two things, a super efficient engine and a smart fuel system. The engine is designed to sip fuel, not guzzle it. It's quiet, which adds to its stealth, and it's reliable enough to run for a full day without any problems. This allows the drone to cover a huge amount of territory. It can patrol hundreds of miles of border or watch over an entire city without ever having to leave its post. For the commanders on the ground, this is priceless. It means they have a constant live feed of what's happening. They don't have to make decisions based on old information. They are seeing it as it happens for as long as it happens. So it can hide and it can stay, but what does it actually see? This is where the magic happens. The drone's eyes are a collection of different sensors. It doesn't just have one camera, it has a whole suite of them. 
It has high-definition video cameras for the daytime. It has thermal cameras that see heat signatures at night, so darkness means nothing. It has radar that can see through clouds, smoke, and even light rain. But the real trick isn't just having these different cameras. The real trick is how it uses them together. This is called sensor fusion. The drone's computer takes the video feed, the thermal feed, and the radar data and combines them into one single super clear picture. It's like putting together the pieces of a puzzle. So, if a person is hiding under a tree at night, the regular camera might not see them. But the thermal camera will see their body heat. The radar might confirm it's a human-sized object. The computer puts this all together and tells the operator, there is a person here. It can distinguish between a civilian car and a military truck. It can tell if a group of people is just standing around or is moving in a tactical formation. It doesn't just collect raw video, it starts to understand the scene. And this is where artificial intelligence or AI comes in. The drone's AI is like a super smart assistant that never gets bored. It can watch these video feeds for 24 hours and never lose focus. It can be programmed to look for specific things, like alert me if you see a rocket launcher, or track that specific vehicle. It can follow dozens of different targets at the same time, keeping track of all of them. This means the human operators aren't overwhelmed with hours of boring video. They get smart alerts. The AI highlights the important stuff. It turns a massive float of data into useful, actionable intelligence. This means decisions can be made faster than ever before. Now here is the critical turn. What happens when this drone, which sees everything, also has the power to act? This is the shift from being just an observer to being a guardian. This drone is not just a camera in the sky, it is also a weapons platform. Inside its sleek body, it has room to carry precision-guided munitions, smart bombs, and missiles. The key here is its modular design. This is a fancy way of saying it's like a toolbox on wings. Depending on the mission, the ground crew can equip it with different gear. One day, its bay might be filled with extra fuel tanks for a very long surveillance mission. The next day, they might swap that out and put in a couple of laser-guided missiles. This means the same drone can be a silent watcher one day and a precise striker the next. This changes everything on the battlefield. In the past, if a surveillance drone spotted an important target, it would have to call in a jet or another unit to come and strike it. That could take time, precious minutes, or even hours. In that time, the target could escape. With this drone, the same platform that finds the target can also engage it. The delay between seeing a threat and stopping it is reduced to seconds. It's a self-contained system. It finds, it tracks, and if the order is given, it finishes. This incredible power brings with it a huge responsibility, which we'll come back to. Of course, flying in hostile airspace is dangerous, so how does it survive? We already talked about its stealthy design, which is its primary way of avoiding trouble. But sometimes it might get detected. What then? This drone has a backup plan. It is equipped with electronic countermeasures. These are systems designed to confuse enemy defenses. If a missile is fired at it, these systems can send out powerful signals to jam the missile's radar, making it lose its lock. Or they can send out decoy signals, tricking the missile into thinking the drone is somewhere else. It's like having a high-tech shield that can deflect attacks. This combination of being hard to find and having active defenses makes the drone incredibly survivable. It can venture into areas that would be suicide for a normal aircraft. This gives military planners options they never had before. They can get a close look at heavily defended sites. They can maintain a watch over a dangerous zone, knowing their valuable asset is well protected. Now, let's talk about the brain behind it all. How is it controlled? This isn't flown with a simple joystick like a toy drone. It has a high level of autonomy. Think of it like a self-driving car in the sky. The human operators don't steer it every second. Instead, they give it a mission. Fly to these coordinates, patrol this area, and keep an eye out for this type of activity. The drone's onboard computer then figures out the best path to get there, the best altitude to fly at, and how to avoid known threats like anti-aircraft batteries. 
This autonomy is crucial. It means one person can manage multiple drones at once. It also means the drone can react instantly to sudden threats. If another aircraft comes too close, the drone can maneuver to avoid it faster than a human could react. If the weather changes, it can adjust its course. The human is always in the loop, making the big decisions, especially the decision to use weapons. But the drone handles the complex details of the flight itself. This partnership between human judgment and machine speed is the future of aviation. So what does all of this mean for the world? The strategic impact is huge. For a country, having a fleet of these drones is like having a 24-7 watchtower over your entire region. It acts as a powerful deterrent. An adversary knows that any move they make could be seen, tracked, and potentially stopped. It extends a nation's reach without putting a single pilot in harm's way.